What's good, family? Today, I want to do what we would call a analytical overview. Now, we've all seen this uh, video from this 1999 BBC documentary they did about Luzia and the American Aborigines and the Mongoloids that came after, right? Now, there's a few problems with the way that they told the story. So, I'm just going to point out a few things and hopefully anyone that watches this entire video can actually understand what they tried to do. They tried to say that, yes, the Aborigines were originally black folks, and then the Mongoloids came in and killed them all off, and they were gone. Now, we know that that's nonsense, because the reason that they were calling people Indians is because they were dark-skinned, and that is who they met when they got here. And yeah, there were some Mongoloids in the background, but they weren't the Indians. Walter Nevis is a physical anthropologist at Sao Paulo University in Brazil. He's been using a standard and reliable archaeological measure, the shape of the skull, to find out what race she belonged to. He fully expected Luthia to be a Mongoloid, an ancestor of the American Indians. So again, I want to point out that the Mongoloid tribes are not Indians, all right? And here in this dictionary explains that American Indian, a member of any of the aboriginal peoples of the Western Hemisphere, except the Eskimos constituting one of the divisions of the Mongoloid stock. Mongoloid stock folks are not Indians, all right? That's, those aren't the people they were calling Indians. Those aren't the people that they met when they got here, all right? Those people were mostly along the western coast of the Americas. So, let's start with that. The Mongoloid fo folks really were not Indians. That's not who they were calling Indians. It's important to make that distinction up front. Nine and one. But then he fed the measurements into the computer. When we start running the computer and uh, seeing the results, uh, it was amazing because we realized that uh, uh, the statistics, the quantitative analysis we were doing was not showing just people to be mongoloid. In fact, the analysis was showing just people as anything except mongoloid. So like Walter Neves was just saying that, you know, they realized that these people were not mongoloids, you know, and these are the oldest bones. And, and by the way, they didn't just find just Luzia. They found Luzia and multitude of other people. She wasn't alone, all right? That to me is a Negroid face that has all the features that you associate with a Negroid face. The um, proportions of the face, it doesn't say anything about it being a mongoloid. Luthia belongs to a race found historically along the rim of the Indian Ocean. In East Africa, in the islands of South Asia, and in Australia and Melanesia. Now you heard him say East Africa, once again trying to separate them from others. The reason that is, is because white folks understand that more than likely their ancient ancestors that were of Negro stock came from East Africa, the same way they're trying to take ancient Egypt out of Africa. They know that these people were African, black folk. Still the lies persist. Was this then the face of a first American? Her reconstruction is confirmed by measurements Walter Nevis has taken of all his skulls. The first reaction uh, was not to believe in it. But as the results, you know, repeated, repeated, repeated so many times, and the result is exactly the same thing. They are very similar to nowadays Aborigines and Africans, and no similarity at all with Mongoloids in Asia or with American Indians. So once again, let me be clear, the Mongoloids are not American Indians, and that they should really know that, but they don't want us to realize what they really were doing and what they really were trying to do. The people that they found here were not the Mongoloid stock people. Those are not the people that they found here and started calling Indians, they called us Indians because of our complexions. But how could Luthia be African and Australian? According to Walter Nevis, there's a very simple explanation. Luthia is a bit of both. So let me be clear right now. American Indians were black folks. Every other aboriginal people 
on every part of this planet were also black folks. And up until about 6,000 years ago, when the first mutated people came out of the caves in Asia, all right, and that is where all of the Caucasian and light complected Asians come from. Now, stop calling people Africans, because if you're not from Africa, literally, today and you consider yourself an African they, you're not an African we are not Africans just like every other aboriginal group of people across the world are also not African so it's very disrespectful to call us another group of people and keep trying to tie us to them because we all have the same complexion all right we're different genetically with different people just like the Jarawa in India now see they would actually have a closer claim to being African, but they said these people have been where they've been for the last 60,000 years. Why are you calling them Africans? They're not Africans. All right? They're the aboriginals of their land. And the Jarawa are just like the Senegalese. They've been in the area for 60,000 years. They're not Africans. Even if they did originally migrate out of Africa, they're not Africans after 60,000 years. They, they, they are their own people. And these people, these Sinhalese, they're aboriginals to India. And the first people that were in Asia, you understand? They're not Africans. Yes, they're dark skinned. Yes, they have woolly hair. And just like these people in Papua New Guinea, they are also aboriginals to their land. These people are not Africans, just like we are not Africans. We are the aboriginals of this landmass. And there were nothing but black folks on the planet at first. But even after the other people came into effect, doesn't change the fact that we're the aboriginals of every place on the planet. So, even Australia knows. Those people are like, we're not African. You ask them, they'll tell you, we're not African. All right? Just like every other group, when white folks or these other outside groups go start calling them, other names. They're like, no, that's not us. That's not who we are. So it's time for people to stop the silly stuff. Stop calling people Africans if you are not an African. Okay? Only Africans are African. And most of them don't even call themselves African. Why the hell are we calling ourselves Africans? I don't care what some goofy theory is. In Alaska, an ice corridor opened up. Animals took advantage and crossed through. Chasing them were mongoloid hunters. It's well known that around 12,000 years ago, the ancestors of today's American Indians entered the New World. The mongoloids moved swiftly, colonizing North and South America in just a few thousand years. That's precisely the time frame when scientists believe the American Aborigines begin to disappear. Could the Mongoloids have replaced the Aborigines? This is very clear in South America. All populations I have in my data set from the whole of South America, okay, from 7,000 to the present, they are absolutely classic Mongoloids. And everything I have with more than 9,000 Okay, is absolutely non-mongoloid. So I would say this replacement occurred between, occurred between nine and 7,000 years ago. See, these people know the truth that white folks and those Asian that they call them mongoloids, they ain't been around that long. They know about 6,000 years. You know, they want to give a little adage at a time, but they know they've only been around for about 6,000 years, okay? Therefore, they are not the ancient people of any land. And definitely not the ancient people of the Americas, because we have the oldest history. Now, let me say this. It's important when you say mongoloid that you understand that those people actually mutated from people, other Negroid people, right? So when he's saying he found skeletons from 6,000 years ago in the Americas of those people, it wasn't those whitish ones. It wasn't them, because they ain't made their way out of Asia at that point. It was those darker ones. 
this information is so important because we need to stop miseducating our children and we need to get it together. All right. So until next time, y'all.